and do a quick walk through on our bolt snares while we're moving through here. I uh, wasn't going to walk this side of the water, but I got traps to check over here, and I'm going to have to get wet to do it anywhere else, so um, this is the best spot. So you can see we've got these tracks are, I don't know, two weeks old or three weeks old or whenever they come through here last, but I'm just going to shoot right across their trail here and then off into the bushes, but we've got one snare right here, another one right there, another one there, and another one there, and there's a couple more back inside the trees here a little bit, but I'm going to tuck back into there and walk around. It doesn't look like there's anything in any of these that I can see from here anyways, so I'll get back with you if there is. Don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. No, damn it. Means I'm doing a good job. My snares are invisible. So that's a snare set right there for wolves. Their trail, they come through here and around or around right here. So, a log truck going by in the distance up there. Um, that road's, it sounds pretty close because of this valley here, but it's about a half mile up above me, so he might need to fasten his trailer a little better. But, uh, anyhow, they come right through here and they split around this tree, it looks like, but either way, that's their cleanest path through. There was already kind of some natural blocking just from the wind blowing and snow knocking branches down and stuff, so I just hung my snare right there and I poked that stick in the ground just to keep their head directed where I want it to go. But, uh, yeah, that's what they look like. So our otter sets are still here on the dam crossing, so... <clears throat> 280 right down in there. I don't know whether it's going to show up or not, but there's a 220 right there, a 220 right there, and then I got a number three right on the edge there with a bag of rocks down on the deep side, um, which you'd think the top of the dam would be deeper, but it's actually not. It's about four or five feet deep on this side and about eight over there, but uh, Anyhow, I'm going to leave these in for one more check and then I'm going to pull these out because, I mean, they've been in here for about three weeks now and we got that one otter and that's it. So I got to figure the rest of his group either wisened up or hasn't been coming up this far or down this far or wherever their applicable home range is. They're just not coming through here anymore. So I'm going to leave them for a couple more days just because and then I'm going to pull these. But, uh... Anyhow, nothing in any of our wolf sets so far. Um, I got a couple more snares to look at on my way back over. I kind of work my way up one side, down the other side type of deal. Uh, there's only a couple of good spots to cross this here creek or river, whatever you want to call it. Um, and those are even fading fast because of the ice melting so bad. So I am wearing waders, but they leak like the Valdez, so. Uh, almost pointless to have them on, but not quite. Anyhow, get moving along here.